Tonight's What's Working, some local high school students are learning an eye-opening message about distracted driving. A woman who almost died in a car accident says it was her fault, and now she's suffering the consequences. As WKRG News 5's Devin Walsh tells you, that woman is now dedicating her life to sharing a powerful message. She had the world at her fingertips. It takes a lot for Molly Welch to stand up in front of these McGill Tool and Catholic High School students. But the fact that she's standing. I was um, given a 50% chance. And speaking is miraculous. The weird thing is, you know, I hear the sound of the crash. When Welch was a junior at Auburn University, she reached down to grab something in her car and took her eyes off the road. She then got in a head-on collision. She almost died. Traumatic brain injury. Um, I had what's called diffuse axonal injury, where your brain shears or tears. Welch spent months in a coma and the last 13 years in therapy. Now this soft-spoken woman. You can't change. What happens to you? Wants to send a loud message. But you can change how you respond. That seconds matter. You have to be accountable for your own life. She started a nonprofit called A Second Later. It means um, all it takes is a second. I mean, your life can change instantly. The fact that she can get up in front of all these teenagers and speak about, like, a problem that's relevant to us and to her, like it just really was inspiring. Welch stressed to the students that distracted driving can be deadly or just life changing. The students were listening. I took away the significance of paying attention when you're driving because you can cause harm to yourself but also someone else and it could change their life completely and yours. Don't text and drive, stay off your phone, but what I'll really take away is don't ever take anything for granted because anything and everything can change in a matter of seconds. All it takes is a, is a second, and I don't want this kind of situation to happen to them ever. Welch says she hopes that sharing her difficult story will encourage the students to think before they take their eyes off the road. For What's Working, with photojournalist Arnell Hamilton, I'm Devin Walsh. What a powerful message. Welch travels around the country sharing it. If you would like to learn more about her organization a second later, we have a link on our website under the What's Working section.